demo on exporting properly. Okay, so one overriding idea that you have to understand is before you prep your work properly, in order for it to export properly, you should make a copy of your work. Because once you um, merge objects and triangulate your mesh, and then you close it down, you won't be able to go back. You won't be able to step back. So always, always, always duplicate first. So I'm just going to go up here and go to duplicate project and duplicate successful. Okay, so there's going to be a duplicate. Um, I'm going to call this one 02 prep just to differentiate the name. Um, what I've done before I start showing you how to prep the mesh, I exported this as it is. So you can see I've got a torus here, a torus there, and a sphere that I've extruded. Let me go to edit on this sphere. I've also increased some of the resolution on the mesh and intentionally created faces that have more than four sides. All right, and that's important. I'm going to show you why. So this one has a lot of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. Same over here. So watch what happens if I export this and take it into MakerBot to print. So I, uh, Zoomers, I got to stop sharing, and then I got to reshare so I can show you the software, where is it at? There it is, MakerBot. Can you guys now see the MakerBot software? And Ronald, don't yell at me. Just thumb, I see your thumb. Thumbs up, can you see MakerBot? Okay, so I'm gonna import my OBJ file. Demo exporting properly. And when I zoom into it, you'll see that there are faces that are transparent. They are missing. Again, that's because I did not quadrangulate or better yet, triangulate the whole mesh. So that's what we're going to do right now. So let's go back to stop sharing again. This is fun. Share the other one. Where is it at? There she is, Vectory. So again, I've already duplicated my, my project. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to merge it all. If you have um, image planes that you're using as guides or lights or something else in your scene that you're not going to print, delete it all. Also, if you have, let's say, um, I did a smooth normals. If I have these um, alteration functions in here and it's not just simply the torus or the mesh, you have to convert it to geometry first. Um, if you have added a UV projection for some reason, which you shouldn't because we're not doing anything UVs with this, we're just printing a simple mesh, so that would be a waste of time. Like that, again, it's an extra thing we don't need, so you need to, again, convert to geometry. So this should be very clean over here, and nothing but meshes. Um, you should have everything to the left of all your meshes over here. All of your objects should have that little triangle, which indicates that it's a mesh. Okay. Once you have everything as a mesh, let me take this stupid mask down so I can speak clearly. All right. I'm going to shift select all of them and I'm going to merge them together. So go to menu, edit, merge. Now we should have one object. They changed the name to merge objects. As you can see, that didn't help with the multifaceted faces, which is not good. So all I have to do now is go to my mesh tools. You can see right here, you hover over this little triangle. It says triangulate. Click it. It will triangulate. I'm going to hit enter. Go back to object. And now this thing should be ready to go. If you, once, when you do that, you might want to take a look at your model. If you have hard edges like I do here, you can see it right here, this very hard edge. I might even, after I triangulate, do another 
normal smoothing, so smooth normals, and then kick my threshold angle up, not down, what happened? Jumped on me. Up, all the way to make it look smooth, because that will print, your normal angle will print. And then again, to get rid of that thing, convert to geometry, and now it's ready for export. So, to export, I just go to export. Choose OBJ. You don't need to mess with texture size or texture quality because you don't have any textures. Download object, and it will download a zip file. Property 2, zip. I'm going to show that folder, and I'm going to double click on it. All I do with these, you guys all should know how to zip and unzip, but all I do is go into that folder, and I control C to copy, and I go back a directory, then I paste, and now it's in there. Demo export properly, O2, prep. I'm going to unshare, guys, and I'm going to share again with you the MakerBot software, and we'll be about done. Share. So now I'm going to go into insert file again. You guys don't have to do this. I'm just showing you the results, the differences between the first one I showed you and the second one. Demo export property two. Zoom in. As you can see, very printable, not missing any faces because we triangulated it and exported it properly. There, I'm done. Stop sharing. Stop recording if I can find it. Uh, people in class, stop showing. <laughs>